I'm Catherine. I'm a writer and a musician. I'm Carl. I'm a filmmaker and a consultant. The bedroom. It's a room that hasn't really gotten a lot of attention. We've just put it on the back burner, and it's been burning for a while. The colors. Let's talk about the colors. Yeah. We enter the bedroom of Catherine and Carl, and there is hot pink mm -hmm. and light blue. Could have been the two worst colors to ever put together, <laughs> especially in a bedroom. One of our friends actually came in here and said, it looks like a children's room, but on acid. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what would you guys want to see yeah. in this room? The idea of gothic architecture and sort of gothic um, colors and patterns. Oh, good. I oh, will have a fun. few creative, okay. interesting ideas. I love doing an unusual chandelier and using a birdcage mm -hmm. and putting plants in there and a few flowers and you put your light in. You have a brilliant one-of-a-kind lamp. It's so easy. You find an old birdcage, put yeah. some plants in there, and there and you go. And that was their favorite piece. That, that is go much so further. cool. Uh, this is sort of like a floral take on a canopy bed because you got this stuff coming from down here. The headboard. You can make a headboard pretty much out of anything you want to, as long as you adhere it to the wall. What we did is we got a little wrought iron gate that we were able to attach to the wall. We simply moved the bed up to it, and it looked very cool, very goth, exactly what they wanted. And the ivy, English ivy, going through that iron, there's endless way to add plants and flowers into the home. I mean, you can do it in a table, on the wall. I mean, you can create so many ways. Just try it. It changes everything to have flowers and plants in your home.